everybody. I'm here today with John Levis from Iowa State University. Hi, John. Hi. <laughs> so six years ago, John, you started up a new conference, uh, the Pronunciation Second Language Learning and Teaching Conference, mm -hmm. uh, fondly known as PISALT among the Canadians, I believe. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, the next one. Actually, I actually created that so that they would have to say PSLLT. Oh. Um, but I. They didn't, found a way. <laughs> but Ron Ron Thompson um, <laughs> found a way to pronounce it. <laughs> I love it. Hey, so the next one's going to be, I understand, in Dallas this October. Um, what's that conference going to be like, and and who should be thinking about attending in the future? Um, the conference is <clears throat> is kind of a, a mix. Um, in many ways, it's a research conference. Um, so people who are doing pronunciation research um, in English, but in other languages as well. So a lot of the the issues of intelligibility, issues of of how instruction works. So in in many ways, I didn't know how the conference would develop when I started it. I didn't know if it would last past a year or two. Mm -hmm. um, and it has become a little bit more like um, AAAL, the American Association for Applied Linguistics, in that a lot of the papers are um, empirical studies. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have um, other types of things. We have a new um, type of, of presentation strand called Teaching Tips where they have something that they call my great idea. And um, I put it into the conference and it we do it in a round table type of format where um, the people who are doing the teaching tips each have a table in a big room and they have 10 minutes with a group of people mm -hmm. who are doing this and then a bell rings and they go to another table. So they get to do about seven or eight of these in a 90, 90 minute period. Um, Wonderful. Yeah, it seems when I look at the format of uh, the PSLLT, I see sort oh, of shorter. Yeah. <laughs> at the <pistol. laughs> um, I see these sort of shorter sessions. The the sessions are shorter than in say TESOL conferences. And right, there there are twenty minute sessions mm -hmm. for presentations, and that's more um, in line with what you get in research conferences, research oriented conferences. Um, and then usually five minutes for questions, and then if you want to go to another room, you can go to another room easily. Um, we have a poster session where we usually have about 20 to 25 poster presentations, um, and, and they have a dedicated time. Um, you're, not com you're not competing with, with other things at mm -hmm. the same time. Um, and that's always really good. Yeah, and then... Yeah. Um, the the teaching tips has its own dedicated time, and so you don't have the same kind of thing you would have at a TESOL, mm -hmm, where you mm -hmm. have these much longer sessions. Right, um, right. And that you lose something by doing doing shorter sessions, and in some ways you gain things as well that you you get more opportunities. And if you walk into a session That's that true. that doesn't click with you. Um, you don't have to. It's only twenty be there for forty-five yeah. minutes, right? <laughs> Great. Where, where is it going to be next year? The conference next year will be in Calgary, Alberta. Okay, that's right. That's it right. Will be in the middle of August. Yes, it's a so, beautiful time of year. Right. It's it's amazing time. <sighs> yeah. Um, and uh, Tracy Derwing and Mary Grantham O'Brien are going to be the um, conference hosts. Right. And it will be on um, pronunciation and technology. They got a language learning roundtable grant mm -hmm. to bring people from um, around the world to Wonderful. to talk about um, technology and pronunciation. So one of them is Katia Kucherini mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the Netherlands, um, and Ron Thompson will be on that, and, and there are some others, but. That's really cool because um, this is, we want to keep the conference affordable mm -hmm. um, and also make it, keep the networking strong. But this kind of a grant from Language Learning, the journal 
um, really gives an opportunity to to do things that are um, unusual. So, John, you you teach <laughs> at um, Iowa State University. You write a lot, and you're editing a brand new journal, and you run an international conference. Um, how do you keep up your productivity without, I don't know, collapsing in tears? <laughs> Sometimes I do. Oh. <laughs> the the conference um, has been very helpful in in kind of giving me a reason to to do certain things. Um, the The journal came out of the conference. It was it was a kind of long term goal of the conference from the beginning. Mm -hmm. The proceedings, another thing. But I also have been really lucky to work with um, with my graduate students and with with other colleagues at other universities who have given me opportunities to do things. And so I I tend not to say no to um, to opportunities. So if somebody says, would you be willing to write a book chapter on pronunciation in the communicative era, which um, is a paper that has not come out yet, but mm -hmm. is on the way. Um, I think, can I do this? And um, then with some of my graduate students, are there any of them who are particularly good at this area and can we work together? So it gives them an opportunity to do some publications when, and be mentored in doing right. that. And it gives me an opportunity to, um, to work on an area that I think I know something about, but maybe I don't know as much as I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot, actually. <laughs> and then you learn about it. <laughs> and then you learn about it, yes. 